Good morning, everyone. It is day 68 of Singapore's circuit breaker slash phase one period. For the first month of circuit breaker, I was studying for my exams, but I have graduated ever since, and the novelty of waking up late and binging Netflix has kind of worn out. The cabin fever is really starting to set in right now, so I thought I'd make a video to share with you guys how I try to keep productive while staying at home almost 24-7. So today is a typical work day for me. I give tuition to high school students, so that means secondary school to JC slash IB. And that has been a source of income for me for the past 6 years. Today I have two students and my first lesson starts at 10 a.m. It is currently 9.45 a.m. So what I'll do now is I'll prepare for my lesson while eating the breakfast that I just prepared for myself in the haste. my first student of the day so it is now 11.33 and I have a one hour break before I go on to my second student at 12.30 I usually take this one hour to eat my lunch, relax a bit, scroll on my phone, text my friends anyway I'm gonna take my one hour break now I can't wait to finish my breakfast which I didn't have the time to and see you on the other side I typically have a light lunch on days that I work because um, my lunch time isn't set and I don't really have much buffer time for me to wait around for lunch to be prepared for the family so I usually just eat on my own. Um, today I have um, some really good mostly but I'm not going to talk too much about it because this is not a sponsored video <laughs> and this is not a food review video either. So it's 11.55. I spent 20 minutes mulling around thinking of what I wanted to eat for lunch, playing with my dog. So I think what I'm going to do is just going to watch some YouTube videos until about maybe 12, 20 and then I'll prepare for my next day. Today it is only an already 2.25 p.m. But my day really has only just started. So I'm gonna kick it off with some exercise. I usually do exercise in the morning before I even leave my room for the first time. But on days that I have work, I have no choice but to leave it till the afternoon or whenever I finish my work. So yeah, the workout that I do and which I've been doing for the past three weeks is a workout from Chloe Ting. I think she's become such a household name in this quarantine period that I don't even need to introduce her. But yeah, if you're interested in knowing what workout I do, just click on the link below that is in the description box.
I'm done with exercising and bathing. It is 3.50 thereabouts. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix myself a little snack before I continue being productive for the day. So currently I'm just snacking on some non-branded baby bites that my cousin gave us for some reason. <laughs> it's really good. And it tastes healthy because it's not salty, it's not sweet, it's just plain old rice cracker. I didn't really like what I saw in the fridge because I didn't feel like having something sweet after all that oatmeal and yogurt and honey. So light snack. Before I continue with the rest of my day, which is already at 4 o'clock. So how I try to keep myself productive during this circuit breaker period is I do a bunch of online courses. So I find that doing online courses is a great way of keeping yourself engaged when you have nothing else to do, keeping yourself productive. If you feel like you've been spending too much of your free days just watching Netflix and you know, you just feel like you need to do something and get something out of your life. So I've been doing these courses for about two or three weeks and currently I am doing five courses. I actually have a handwritten schedule over here which I have done up so that I know what course I want to do in the week. So currently, today is Saturday, I am doing a course on mental capacity, understanding mental capacity. I'm also doing courses on other kinds of health sciences such as bioethics. And um, I'm also really interested in the forensic sciences, so I'm doing a course on forensic psychology, which I do on Mondays. And there's also a course on forensic science and fingerprints, which I do on Thursdays. So yeah, this is how I try to keep myself productive in the middle of the day when I'm done with my obligations and responsibilities. So it is currently 4 o'clock and I'm going to be doing my course for an hour or two, see where I end up. And then I'll try to find something else to do. I'm done with today's course, so I'm gonna go ahead and fix myself a snack because I'm pretty hungry. So I have my snack right now, it's carrots with peanut butter. Interesting fact is that I don't like to eat carrots when they are cooked, but I love them when they are raw. So another way I like to keep productive is to do some hands-on activities that can keep me somewhat active without me having to sit in front of the computer all day. So my go-to choice of activity is sewing. So you guys would notice I'm in a different room right now. This is actually my dining room. I kind of got sick of my room because it's so dark and 
just I needed some fresh air. So the dining room is the best place to have it because there are just windows everywhere. I have an open one just next to me where I can breathe in the fresh air, take in some sunlight while I do my sewing. So it just so happens that my sister asked me to help alter the length of her pants. So I thought I'd include it in today's video. When I do my sewing, I like to watch a video from my tablet to keep me entertained. So it's a way that I can catch up with my favourite shows while still being productive in a sense. with dinner and walking mocha. He's surprisingly well behaved today. He Let's go too soon. He always whines when I bring him out for a walk. I have no idea why. I think it's because he's too excited or something and doesn't want to be restrained by the leash. But you know what? Crying ain't gonna get you anywhere, boy. Oops. Now, I'm not the most sporty person, but I actually do enjoy walking quite a lot. Like, if it's a walkable distance, I'll, I'd rather walk than take the MRT. I think the best example would be like in the stretch of Orchard Road. I could happily walk from Bengkulen to Somerset or Dobie Boy because it's just such a nice walk. If the weather is good, of course. Oh no! <laughs> Oh no, let's go, 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 let's go. Safe from the big dogs. Sometimes I fear for Mocha's life because he's so tiny. And the dogs in the neighborhood are all quite huge. They're like um, golden retrievers, German shepherds. But I actually haven't really seen a big dog attack or even attempt to attack Mocha before. So I guess we're safe. And in any case, I have a huge umbrella to fend off the bullies if possible. But so we're back from our walk. That was actually quite scary seeing some suspicious looking guys scalping around the neighborhood like that. It was actually the first time I saw someone eerily staring at me and Mocha and I just got the chills. I took out my phone, I pretended to have a call and then I called my dad for real and I said, hey, come, and, come out and fetch me because there's this creepy person. So we are safe home. Mocha is over there just chilling. It's 8.30pm. What I'm going to do for the rest of the night is I am going to Skype my boyfriend watch on Netflix, just relax and enjoy the aircon in the room and we'll see how the night takes us. Okay, so it's 10.24pm and I just finished watching Netflix. Two episodes of Money Heist, I highly recommend you guys watch it if you haven't already. It is amazing. And for those who like learning languages, it is always nice to watch a show that is from another country, from another language. Money Heist, for example, is Spanish. So if you want to learn Spanish, what you can do is just switch on the Spanish audio and then your English subtitles. 
or if you don't really have any interest in the languages, I mean, just switch off everything in English, and it is an amazing show to watch. I promise you guys. So this is the end of my vlog today on how I try to keep productive during this COVID period. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, please like the video and subscribe for more content. If you have any ideas as to what kind of videos I should make in the future, please comment below. Bye guys!